Hi, once again, this is James. Let us continue with our if functions, and this time we're going to look at a multiple condition if function. We take an example below. The saying supposing students are being graded from a test as follows. The scale runs from 80 to 100, which is A, to 54 and below as X. Maybe the students aren't graded when they get below 55. So how do we do this? Using an if function. Let us dive straight into Excel and we see how this happens. Still we have the same scale here as you can see. 80 to 100 is A, 75, 79 to 75 to 79 is B, 70 to 74 C, up to uh, 54 and below it is X or maybe not graded. Pre like previously, we are going to go back to our FX, click where we want our grades to be, click FX, look for our if function, click in it because we recently used it, we say OK. Now we say if our first figure is greater than or equal to 80, what should that be? According to our scale, it should be A. Now this is where things change a bit. We don't we click in the value in force, but we don't click into it. Instead, we are supposed to get a new empty dialog box for the next condition. This is how we do it. Click in the value in force, come up here to the name box where there is if, click and notice that this functions arguments box empties and you start off a new function. So still we go back to our first figure and we say if that figure is greater than or equal to this time 75. What is the grade according to this? It is B. Click in the value if false click in the name box to empty and start a new one if this is greater than or equal to 70 this time that should be C value if false click in the name box again if this is greater than or equal to 65 what should that be according to our scale is D. Click in value if false. Click if this same figure is greater than or equal to 60 this time. What should that be if true? That is E. Click in value if false. Click in the name box empty if again this value is greater than or equal to this time 55 what should happen if true that is uh, that is f according to our scale value if false now if that is the last entity you have not if that is the last entity you have, uh, you are on your last scale, red, that now becomes the value if false. So this last grade becomes the value if false. So we put x. And we say, OK. If we check our scale properly, it's saying, Michelle is having a B and B when you look at the scale it ranges between 75 to 79 perfect then we can go ahead and fill handle and when we check out our scale I think we are well in business 
thank you for watching see you in another video